quiet morning in Ping Le begins with the crews out through the Xiang Sun. We drove by small villages and were greeted by a family of chickens. The character Fu showed we were at a Buddhist spot. Hun Duoren Lai Jili Shao Xiang Dian Ran La Ju. This is the Golden Flower Mountain, or Jin Hua Shan in Chinese. At the bottom, we admired some of the statues. The hike was relatively easy and comfortable, thanks to all the shade from the towering bamboo. It's no wonder there's part of Ping Le, known as the Zhu Hai. We walked alongside a stream, enjoying the peace and quiet of nature. Along the way, there are countless Shi Ke, Zhao Xiang, all in little niches carved out of the rock. Coming from the hectic pace of Beijing, and more recently from the quickly developing Chengdu, we thoroughly enjoyed this reprieve from big city life. We continued on the path up the mountain. About halfway up, we found a nice place to chill. Shortly thereafter, we found this little temple. The lady working there was incredibly nice, as she poured us some tea while we looked around. We continued to the top, where we found these statues. Jin Hua Shan Shi San Jiao Ru Shi Dao. Here we found the most elaborate statues, with this hundred-armed guy prominently in the middle. Inside of this small temple, another nice woman got us some giant incense and led us through a short ceremony. She said we'd have good luck on the rest of our journey, and she turned out to be right. We took our time going down. And we saw many more people lighting up candles and incense. Along this path, we found a special drinking fountain. Jaga Xiaohar, Buyao He Jibei Shui, at the feet of the Da Fu. Taking a drink from this fountain will bring Hao Yun. After watching his grandma, the kid decided to give it a try. It was a nice, relaxing morning out in the countryside, and we still had plenty more to come that afternoon.